Hello everyone and welcome back to a brand new day of Road to Teacher Worlds 2019. Thank you so much for joining me today guys if you're live with me on Twitch and if you're watching on YouTube don't forget to leave a like, really really helps out the channel. And so we are now moving on to playing my favorite deck right now, Reshizard. Um, it is my favorite deck because I won a regional with it but I think it's also pretty pretty powerful and it's so powerful that um, a lot of people are playing like Slowking in their decks, their Quacks or Nacnadel is a thing because of this deck, so definitely a powerful deck. And um, just looking at the um, at the list, yeah, I have uploaded quite a few videos of Regisart, so if you're not sure what the deck as a whole is trying to do, I definitely recommend checking out the previous videos. Um, the Sao Paulo champion one has a full um, card by card description of what each card does and why it is in there Since then I have made two changes to the list I took out the fourth acrobike and I took out the second escape rope and I added in an Evian Snorlax tag team GX and a stealthy hood so the stealthy hood obviously um, protects against wheezing helps against random stuff like a little unlock but especially it really helps against Vileplume yeah with Vileplume you just don't have an issue with it and then we have Eevee and Snorlax tag team which doesn't share a weakness with Resh's art and can one to kill everything in the um <clears throat> in the Zorark decks which makes it super valuable because Zorark decks are playing a heavy slogan line or at least a 1-1 sometimes even 2-2 in order to counter Resh's art so the Eevee and Snorlax is the counter to the counter since it does take more than uh, one turn to KO. Um, Ray the poor man, how do you beat Weezing? You keep your bench low, sometimes you heal with mill tank and you take a KO every single turn. Yeah, it's not easy by any means, but it's definitely, definitely possible. And so we are going to start laddering. I've had pretty um, some pretty bad games with this deck in the ladder lately it seems that everyone is trying to counter the deck in some sort of way which makes sense so we might not get a lot of wins here yeah we might not get a lot of wins but we will see um how often has rope been more valuable than a switch many many times i i honestly like if i had to put one card back into a deck it would be the second rope the escape rope raya thank you so much 18 months thank you so much for resubscribing very very kind of you how have you been Rhea um, so yeah like so rope can sometimes be as good as a Kuzma so I would definitely like if I could put one card back into a deck it would definitely definitely be the second rope yeah if you don't have to worry about bioplume I would play two ropes um, instead of just the one yeah it's really that good it's really really that good um, okay so Latios by Pokemon Matthew 95 so we'll have to see what she or he is up against because it's Matthew with a um, with a female avatar so we're not sure and yeah we'll see what they want to do rope is crucial against Shedinja rope is pretty good against Shedinja speaking of <laughs> speak of the devil right speaking of rope there it is right there there it is right there that's awkward um i mean i don't think you can beat shedinja anyways um you would need like mew to beat shedinja and wow what on earth is happening here huh sneaky pokemon matthew 95 playing a latios weldering for one energy sneaky sneaky pokemon matthew 95 eh Okay, I think because of the escape rope, my plan is to now dead dead. <laughs> um, <clears throat> choice band won't be making too much of a difference. I will go ahead and hold on. Maybe I should have just escape rope deactive. Um, I don't want to let loose. I just want to dead dead here. Um, and <laughs> you can see how I just assumed it was in there. Um, you can see how I just assumed it was in there. And okay, so now that's a that's a good looking hand. That's the sort of hand you, you get with Rish's Heart and you're like, oof, this is so good. Okay, I'll bench another Jirachi. Well, Jirachi Sard Sard. I do want a space for Lele, so 
I'll nest both for this art just to thin a little bit, and then since this is a Reshi's art mirror match, I guess I'll Acrobike first. I'll be good. Um, Drachi more valuable than the Kiawe, for sure. My opponent's Reshi's art is not a threat. After I use this Kiawe, I am actually a big threat to my opponent. However, with the current hand that I have, I'm not really a threat because I don't have a way to um, to target that down next turn with my um, double blade GX attack. And so something that made me very successful in the Rish's Art Mirror over in Sao Paulo at the regional um, was the fact that I played four Kiawe. So I just found four, I found Kiawe more often than my opponents in the mirror and that went to the mirror. Um, so yeah. Sir Pam, the reason, you ask, the reason you ask is because typically people hit your active start with their biggest threat, so Rob seem a little counterintuitive. If you played for Switch already, then it could definitely understand. Yeah, that's true. Um, it's just, it's it's good to have the variety, yeah? Um, Rope is also useful to bypass weird things like um, Jolton's GX attack. So yeah, for Switch is super consistent, but the, the potential of Escape Rope um, is just way too good. Yeah, it, it just it's really just that good yeah just having the option to use it is really really nice okay okay So counter catchers. Okay. I feel like my opponent kind of helped me because the Reshi's art is not really a threat. And now I can just retreat, right? I'm probably not going to um, probably not going to, well, I mean, I wouldn't mind poking for, I wouldn't mean, I wouldn't mind outraging. If I outrage and then double and then first strike, that's fine. Well, if he go, if she go, if he, whatever goes, um, triple energy welder. Uh, I mean, what are the odds of that happening though? Let's be risky. Let's take the initiative. Let's take the initiative. Let's outrage into a flare strike. Why not? Um, so Panage, yeah, so four switch is definitely super consistent. This, the, the option of escape rope is just really, really good. How many hoods do I play? Just the one. You don't need more than that. Just the one. A well-tagged hood is more than enough. We do see the Kukui. Um, so no welder, no switching out, I hope. Um, field blower doesn't matter. Doesn't actually matter at all. I mean, now we only have one choice one left. It's no big deal. It's really no big deal. And do we get the free flare strike? We get the free, yeah. We don't even get outraged. And I even find an energy to just make sure that I have double plays to KO. My opponent's next fresh is art, so in a really bad spot for him. Really bad spot for him. We are good. Why would you not GX there? Because I had five energies. Because I had to attach to retreat, so I couldn't KO. The GX does 200 damage. I was missing one to get to 300. So that is why. Um, Tell me, what is your plan of style? Can Faba the Hood and then set up Plume? You, you don't have to play the Hood until they have the Val Plume, right? If they, like, why would you ever play the Stealthy Hood before they have a Val Plume? You would never do that, yeah? You just go pick off the Oddishes and they set up one Val Plume. You KO with the Stealthy Hood and combine that with a Let Loose. They don't set up another Val Plume and you win. It's super easy. Like, the fact that even if Stahl played four Field Lords, that doesn't matter. Right? Like it matters if they set up two file plumes or three, then sure. But it's like you're applying pressure since turn one or turn two. And it's not like stealth. I mean, you have double let lose. So it's not as easy as, oh, they remove the stealthy hood and you lose. It's, it's really way beyond that. If you're playing stealthy hood when you find it, 
then that's a really big mistake. You only play it until you're actually going to use it. Otherwise, it, it stays safe in your hand. They can't do anything to it um, as long as it's in your hand other than Mars. And if they get lucky with Mars, well, oh well. But yeah, the turn you attack, yes, but it's like you you take the KO. Like in, in my experience, you apply so much pressure that they can barely set up one Valplum, right? Because they you need to be picking off the Oddishes. So as long as you're doing that, you should be okay. Yeah, you should be okay. Okay, so we're looking for Guzma to win the game. We're looking for Guzma. Not quite. Um, so let's start setting up Turtonator, right? Let's start setting up Turtonator. So yeah, honestly, like if I if my opponent flips over Oddish, even without the stealthy hood, I like you're just aggressive. You combine the let looses. If they set up one, then so be it. But it's really it generally is really easy, guys. Um, I'm gonna burn the nest ball, and then one one stealthy hood just means it's game over. If you're really worried about Valplum, then you can drop the stealthy hood, drop the Turtonator, play. Um, oh, I can't. Well, I guess I can. I mean, I don't need to KO, I don't care about the KO. Um, drop those two cards, add a 1-1 one, one Flareon or 1-1 one, one Arcanine, and then you never have an issue with Valplum again. Because sure, they have the Lugia GX, but it's once again, you take the KO, yeah, and you combine that with the Let Loose. You can even wait, right? Because they have the Valplum and they're not doing anything to you. So you wait until you can get the KO, Let Loose, and then they, they won't have the cards to Lugia, right? Or if they did get them, which is a, a way to switch the Lugia GX, the DC, and the counter game, four out of the five cards, meh, probably not gonna happen, yeah? So the game is not as simple as this card counters this other one, yeah? This card counters this other one. Okay, why not switch to Drachia and fish for Guzma last turn? Did I have the switch? Did I not draw the switch with the Welder or the... Did I? If I had the switch, that's my bad. <laughs> I didn't notice. I didn't notice. Did I not draw the switch with the Welder? I feel like I did. I feel like I drew the switch with the Welder. Otherwise, yeah, I should have switched into Jirachi and just gone boop. You drew Guzma with Welder. I had switch in hand, okay, then it's my bad. <laughs> no reason other than I'm being distracted between uh, between many things. I had switch before Welder, okay, so no reason other than I'm a little bit distracted, that's it. <laughs> thank you, Benny Gaming. thank you so much, well played, opponent. Um, so yeah, no reason other than me being silly distracted, <laughs> not looking at the switch. Honestly, something that happens to me is I play in real life um, with regular cards and then I play online with these cards and sometimes I don't like I don't make the association and I miss things um, uh, when playing online because of that. Um, not saying it's an excuse, yeah. Um, like that was super silly not to switch. Um, but that sometimes happens because I don't know, when I'm playing online, in real life, it's like I have the cards, I, I look at them one by one, but here they're fixed in a set position, I don't know. Um, so I would like to go first, thank you very much. Um, Sir Pandage, <laughs> how am I celebrating? Well, um, so my birthday was last Saturday, I was able to, um, that day my one of my best friends got married in Brazil, so I was there for the wedding, it was a really awesome time. And then um, this time, no cake from my girlfriend this time. Uh, because she's in Europe right now. Yeah, she's on vacations in Europe. So um, I did get home to Tim Tams though. Tim Tams are a very nice um, hmm. Tabu this is probably wheezing, right? This has to be wheezing. 
So I'm just gonna kill it. Um, my girlfriend is in Europe, so no cake, but there were Tim Tams. Yeah. And later that day, my girlfriend's mom did bring me a small cake, a small chocolate cake. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, not, not much else beyond that. Not much else beyond that. Uh, we're gonna see a nest ball. Stealthy Hood will protect me from the wheezing damage, which is nice. I have back to back, I have three prizes guaranteed with this Regisard in back to back to back attacks. Um, the scary part, of course, is a potential Mimikyu, a potential Frost Rotom. Um, so we'll deal with those as we go. However, if Coco gets KO'd, then it's much they're much less of a threat because then my opponent needs a switching card and then to top it all off my opponent didn't even draw um, anything right my opponent didn't even draw anything so i'm gonna lead with a flare strike no fear of a switch counter energy mimic you play um zero fear uh where's the puppy she's right here well she's in the living room um i'm taking care of her right now and yeah, we get attacked, um, not the biggest of deals. I guess I'll attach the Stealthy Hood now. Right, I'll attach the Stealthy Hood now. I honestly can heal. I can double switch heal with the milk tank. I kind of like that. Uh, I'll wait though. I'll wait one turn. I'll wait one turn. I won't do anything other than double blaze. I'll wait on the healing. I don't need to heal just yet. Um, obviously he puts all the damage there. I hope I'm not surprised by a random stage one <laughs> that pops up right here. Um, yeah, Sol definitely missed me. Um, we left her, like my girlfriend left, I left. So we left her with her nanny essentially. Um, so yeah, that's gonna be the game. No, no need to even heal. And like, for example, if that was a best of three at a regional, I would not have benched the mill tank and healed purely to not reveal, yeah, to not give my opponent that information um, on the fact that I am running the the mill tank. I was scared of Huntro as well, <laughs> like a random, any random stage one. So maybe I should have healed just to be extra, 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 extra cautious. We're probably up against Weezing again though. So, hello Mega Silch, all good. How about you? Um, and yeah. Other than that, um, I mean, I'm not doing really much celebrating. Henry, thank you so much for filling up the cup with 20 more bits. Well, M&Ms rather. I would like to go first. Very kind of you. Thanks so much for the support, Henry, and everyone who's here. Um, we think it's tier 1.5. I mean, it's our tier 1.5. It's tier 2, right? It's probably tier 2. Uh, with this hand, I don't think I even want to start Jirachi. I think I'm fine just doing this. I think I'm fine just doing this. Okay. Uh, um. Okay. Coco GX. Wait, what? Okay, so it's not wheezing. Um, my opponent starting the Coco is actually a big deal. And Henry, thank you so much. Very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. I'm feeling the love. Thank you so much for the 20 bits, for the 20 M&Ms. The, the, the glass looks really cool filled up with all red M&Ms, obviously. It looks really cool. And the Alaskan Hero, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And look at the explosion of red M&Ms. <laughs> thank you so much for the congrats. Thank you so much for resubscribing. I really appreciate it. Ah, we are up against Reshizard, so it's not even Saptos, it's actually, not Reshizard, sorry, Picarum. <laughs> we are up against Picarum, yeah. So now my plan becomes attach, double place KO, um, probably bench the Jirachi to prevent like a Rescue Stretcher, Coco, Prism, Energy, Return KO. So, or maybe I don't attach, maybe I don't attach, yeah, <laughs> immediately, okay, let me, let me fill it up for you, Henry, yeah, I mean, obviously, I appreciate the bits, but, oh, well, there you go, <laughs> thank you so much, double 20 bits, <laughs> thank you so much, Henry, thank you so much for your generosity, 
We see the Lele. Lily, I mean, the Thunder Mountain is scary, right? Because now, now I could lose. In a weird scenario, I could just lose here. There's a scenario in which I lose. How do you guys like the Road to World Championships logo? I animated that myself. I'm very proud of how it ended up looking. It wasn't too complex, but um, it wasn't too complex. And yeah, Trey, those turn on Kiawe, right? But that's what you get when you play four Kiawe and four Old Trouble and Lele and the Den and Marshadow. It's like, you win by using Kiawe, so why not use it, right? Why not use it? <laughs> Thank you, the Alaskan hero. Thank you. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. <clears throat> I feel like maybe it moves around too much. It like it shuffles every 10 seconds. Um, okay, so we're getting let loose here. Uh, not a very impressive hand by my opponent. Or start rather. Patching to the bench Pigram means he's given up on saving the Coco, which makes sense, honestly. We're getting let loose, not the biggest of deals. My hand wasn't stellar, right? My hand wasn't stellar. Uh, this is just as good. Um, so yeah. <sighs> ah man, if I attached the energy, if I had known I was up against Pigram, I feel like I would have attached and KO'd the Pigram this turn. Okay, so the, the stadium now worries me a little bit. Because now my opponent can't get a KO. He needs three damage modifiers and an energy. And then... <sighs> hmm. I'm not sure what to do here, what the best approach is. Um, it could just be attach and KO. It could be Guzma the Picarom. And then dig for choice band. And I'm definitely playing Ultra no matter what. <sighs> Jirachis, the Dene is there. The two choice bands are there. But what are the odds that I'll find it? <sighs> I mean, I, do, I think I have to go for the Dene here. Um, Do I attach? I don't think I attach. Losing the Guzma really sucks though. Really, really sucks. Um, okay, so... Wow. That was actually quite awful. Okay, so I'm gonna welder one energy to the active. Okay, there we go. Now that, this is more like it. Uh, because now I have like backup to this guy. Uh, but I don't attach the energy though. No, I don't attach the energy. I'll just Flur Strike. Hoping my opponent doesn't have the perfect four cards to KO me here. Well, it's five actually, because he needs a switching card, the energy, and the triple damage modifiers. I'd be more comfortable if he didn't have the Thunder Mountain. There's the Cynthia, so likely energy, but I'm hoping he doesn't like he needs five specific cards out of the six he drew um the 10 agx is a thing though and there's a victory okay there we go <laughs> there we go there we freaking go okay so let's get into another game remember that crazy 12 game win streak we had with the deck um with the deck that other day huh. hopefully we can we can get it again. Okay. Okay. So, pretty nice hand. Since we are going second, I will go ahead and start Jirachi. Turn on Kiawe, right? That's all you want. Turn on Kiawe and Jirachi start. You really can't ask for much more than that. And that's why you play four copies of each card. That's why I beat opponents' Reshi Arts. Yeah.
Okay. So it's a mirror match. Okay, so my opponent looks like he will get the Kiawe as well. Yeah, so going second is a big disadvantage. However, however, since he doesn't attach the energy, then we're okay. Yeah, I do need to like top deck energy. If I top deck energy, I just attach Kiawe and then hope he doesn't have escape rope plus energy. Um, escape rope plus welder. <laughs> oh gosh, I love this deck so much. So, so much. I went second. I'm still very confident in what's about to happen. Um, I'll touch the choice band. Yeah, I'll touch the choice band. And then I will Kiawe. I do threaten with the GX here. Um, the Dene is available. That's the card we want. We just need one fire energy nectar, of which we have seven. So maximum odds of finding energy on our upcoming turn. How much you need, how much else you need here. We'll see what happens. Okay, we see the Lily, we see the skateboard. Lily means we are safe. There's no way my opponent can get a KO here. And Paul, thank you so much for the birthday wish. I appreciate it. Okay, energy onto the Volk. Is he really going to retreat on first starter onto the Regizard? I feel like that would not be a great play. But that's what's going to happen. So yeah, I'm pretty, pretty comfortable in this spot. The one bad thing is losing the two welders, right? But at some point, like eventually, all I need is one welder and I'll be fine. Um, so I am going to Ultra Wolf first. The mill tank, eh, I'll bench it. I'll bench the mill tank, why not? Okay, so I have three acrobikes, the Viridian, and all my energy. So I have no idea what the heck is priced. <laughs> one Regisard, uh, one Let Loose, one Fire Crystal, one Nest Ball, one Welder. And something else, um, but this is fine. Then I will Stellar Wish. I will Nest Ball for what? Turtonator, maybe? Probably. I like the follow up Turtonator. Turtonator wins you games, guys. I actually need to get an English one. The only one I have is. Ooh, I almost used the Dene before I. Guzma. That would have been the definition of. Awful. Beautiful, beautiful energies. One escape row prize? No, I'm only playing one Tribun and Trumish. I'm only playing one. The changes I made to my uh, regional winning list was taking out the second escape rope and taking out the fourth acrobike for the stealthy hood and for the EV Lax. So no, 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 no thing prized, no escape row prized. Why Stellar Wish before the Dene? Because I was going to Guzma, Trey. Because I was going to Guzma, that's why. Otherwise, yeah, you would the Dene first and then Stellar Wish. But the Guzma was going to send the Jirachi back. Um, Welders, that's fine. Getting to 6 energy, not gonna be the easiest thing for my opponent. Um, there's a Fire Crystal. Okay, so this is a little bit threatening, not gonna lie. And I mean, it's more than the digging, it's purely because I was going to um, Kuzma. So my Jirachi was not going to be active, yeah? Okay, so my opponent High Heat Blasts. So I have a pretty... Okay, I'm gonna reinforce away this. Grab the fire, and then thank you so much for the follow, Josh. Thank you so much for the follow. Uh, oops, wrong window. <laughs> um, then I'm going to fire crystal. 
and then I'm going to welder to onto turret. Going into Reshizard, probably would have been the same thing. Probably. Definitely keep the energy. Okay, so now my opponent will KO me, right? And that's not ideal, obviously. Then all I need is either Choice Band or Fire Crystal off of Double Stellar Wish to win by KOing his Lele. So I should be fine here. I should be fine. Outrage and Flare Strike, both the same thing. I guess I'll Outrage. No reason not to. I could have Guzma KO'd the Lele right now. Uh, maybe that was better actually. Oh no, because I needed to Welder. Never mind. It wasn't better. And now I have Let Loose even. I just need one energy. That's all I need. One energy or one choice band. And I have the energy right there with the green and forest, so we should be fine. And this is why I didn't have any text for the mirror. It's like with the Kiawe consistency, that's just so so good. What? Why would you welder onto the Lele, my friend? What? <laughs> why would what? Why did you weld around to a Lele, my friend? Your only chance was for me not to have Kuzma to KO that Lele. And now you're just gonna gift me the Lele? Really? Unless you're gonna just attach and KO with the GX, I guess. I mean, fair. He can still KO, right? He can still KO. But I don't know, it's like the way you win... No? I was giving my opponent the benefit of the doubt. And he chose to... What? This doesn't change the fact that I have my stadium for the energy and I win. Why would you ever attack with Tapu Lele? <laughs> then I get two energy. Why would you ever attack with Tapu Lele, my friend? Like, now you would have a chance because I would need to find the Kuzma. Now you would have actually had a chance because now I needed to find Kuzma. I don't have had to promote Jirachi. I don't understand why you did that. Did you not realize I was at two prizes? I mean, if, at least if you counter my stadium, then fair. Because then I can't directly search for the energy, but... Okay. Okay. Tutu's a Lazzle plus Jirachi plus Let Loose plus Lele, though. Super intense for my opponent. I did think about having a 1-1's one a Lazzle in my deck, it's just, it just doesn't fit. Yeah. You took out the fourth Jirachi and one let loose, uh, maybe, but then you have to dedicate resources to to establishing it for it to be worth it that you would otherwise be using to find like Lele or the Dene or Reshizard. So I don't know. I don't know. GG, good enough. Was that you? Was I just playing against you? SOS Dark. Now this has to be Saptos Beast, right? One one Substrika. Uh. Not a fan. Was that you good enough? Oh, okay. There you go. There you go. I mean, do you guys really want to see the, the name? I can move this here. It's no big deal. Everything can be adjusted for your viewing pleasure, my friends. Okay, so... Uh, yeah, I don't want my Regisard. You get hit. I can't get a turn one kill with Welder. Like against Zapdos Beasts, the ideal is the turn one Welder into our uh, KO. That way you get the first prize. Um... <laughs> no, no, I didn't mean that good enough. Don't say that. Oh, please don't escape rope me again. Like escape rope, it, it's also good just to mess, right? Just to mess with people. No, okay, so no escape rope, just a switch. That's nice. That I don't mind. That I do not mind. There's the lily, very nice. There's the lily, very, very nice. Okay. Do you guys know the, the fit? The fit plushies? Yeah, the, the ones that are like this, where they release like all the first gen. Yeah, I don't know, can you guys see this? Yeah, like these, these guys, yeah, they're awesome, right? 
So I got Nidoqueen and Pidgeot, obviously, because of my um, top 4 at Worlds deck, yeah? And then, now they're releasing Joro, so I'm very tempted to spend a stupid amount of money to buy uh, the unknown to spell out Tablemon. I feel like spelling out Pablo would be the more responsible thing to do. <laughs> um, okay, so this is an interesting situation. I'm gonna get rid of a Jirachi. Okay, so now my plan is to Welder and find a Switch or an Escape Rope. Yeah. Now I'm gonna Welder onto the Bench Regisard. And I find the energy. I even find a Nest Wall to establish the Jirachi. And I can do this, and then I can let loose just like my opponent did to me. And if I find Switch or Escape Rope, that would be magical. No such thing. I could try again. Uh, I could try again. Is it worth it? Mm. I mean, I'm going to have to use it next turn anyways, probably. So might as well. It's just I already have the Kuzma though. So nah. Nah. All the Gen 2 plushies? Yeah, all the Gen 2 plushies. Do they have Greninja? No. Greninja is Gen 6. So they're going by Gens. They had Gen 1 a few months ago. Now we're getting Gen 2. Um, I would love to just get like Tablemon spelled out in the knowns. Pablo is probably the more reasonable thing to do because Tablemon is T-A-B-L-E-M-O-N. -E That's 8 times 400 pesos each. That's 3200 pesos. That's a lot of pesos that I don't think I want to spend. Um, <clears throat> we need Tablemon plushie. <laughs> a few people have suggested that, Ray. Um, I wouldn't even know where to get them. Uh, to get them done. <laughs> I honestly wouldn't know where to get them done. Um, okay, so my opponent will KO the Turtinator, that's fine. One card in hand, which I don't mind him having that. Um, okay, so definitely promote the Jirachi. We find a Kiawe a little bit too late. I will go ahead and Stellar Wish though. Heat Factory, I really like getting Heat Factory here. I need Human Size Tail on Plushy. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna get rid of the Kiawe. Yeah, I'm gonna find a Fire, of course. Um, okay, so if my opponent only had one Jirachi, I would go Guzma kill Jirachi. However, since he only has one Zapdos, I feel like that's definitely the better target now. Uh, Mill Tank is really nice to get here. Mill Tank is really, really nice to get. The Fire Crystal is as well. Um, Fire Crystal for one is not great though, but... Yeah, I feel like I should attach to the Volk. Yeah, let's attach to Volk and then we'll Dull Blaze. Not the biggest of fun because then you can't go... Like after this guy goes down, you can't go Bench, Energy, Welder, Boop. Uh, but it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Thank you so much Turbo Darkest for the birthday wish. Thank you so, so much. That's very kind of you. We see the Lily. Lily for three, hopefully. One Electro Bar being played. I don't mind that at all. Because now if my opponent whips, uh, Blitzel, that's fine. Lily for five. Now if my opponent whips Energy plus Zapdos, that Electro Bar goes to waste. And there's Coco, so... Coco doesn't help my opponent in getting the energy, actually. And he preemptively uses it. Why would you ever do that, my friend? That is such a big misplay. He, the last card in his hand is Lily. Why would you ever, ever use Coco Prism? You take a look at your hand and then you decide if you want to use it or not. Even if you're scared of me KOing it, you don't need to use it before the Lily. Okay, so it does find energy, which is another rainbow, which makes me happy. I'm not gonna lie, it makes me happy. Um, okay, so I have two options. I can hard retreat into the mill tank. Fire crystal welder? Oh no, I can't do that. Never mind. Never mind, never mind. That is not a play I can do. That is most certainly not a play I can do. So I'm going to counter my own stadium. 
We've seen them, opponent is playing Greed and CD, so probably no Desert Ruins, eh? <laughs> Desert Ruins is such an old card. Um. Oh wow, I didn't think this through. Yeah, I'll get rid of the Let Loose. It's the only card I don't need on my hand. Everything else I do need. Um, okay, so... Gonna bench the Mill Tank. Gonna go ahead and... Guzma... If I heal 90, that leaves me with 20. That's Outrage for 50. That's not enough. So the only Pokemon I can KO, I can KO is... Well, never mind. I could have killed this in Striker. Oops. Because I can... Um, Lurse Strike. It's fine though. KO and Jirachi. There's merit to KO and Jirachi. Okay, and now next turn I can... Well, no, I can't. Now I don't have Switch. Okay, I'm getting all sorts of confused here. But that's a KO. That's all we want. We healed the damage. We made an attack basically useless for my opponent. Um, Coco, Coco GX could come in right now. Because we haven't been eliminating energy. And... Coco GX is at the perfect number as well. Hmm. Ugh. Okay, so we're probably gonna lose this one. Probably gonna lose this one. Yeah, we're gonna get Coco GX here. Yep, there it is. There it is. I just gulped. <laughs> there it is. Um. So yeah, maybe. Hmm. Maybe just switching out and KOing with Volcanion was the better play. Maybe that was the better play. And this is what I'm talking about. Like, if I still had my GX, I feel like that's my biggest mistake. If I still had my GX, I would be completely okay. If I still had my GX attack, I would be completely, completely okay here. Um, well, I wouldn't be because I didn't find... Ugh. I didn't find a... Um, I didn't find an attacker, right? Jeez. I didn't find an attacker. Um, but I could have been. <laughs> I could have been fine. And so I do need to welder. I'm gonna welder onto a mill tank, even though that looks really weird. And I mean. I get an attack of yeah I'm not gonna win yeah I'm gonna concede uh, I played into the Coco by healing myself um, if I hadn't healed myself I still would have been taken down by the Coco I think I definitely was split there I should have just switched into the Volk that way he needed Guzma and Ultra Ball to KO my Reshizard um, so yeah my my bad I don't know why I clicked the manager let's play one more game yeah let's play one more game with this who is favored? I think Zapdos is favored. If both players are on equal skill, I do think Zapdos has a slight edge. Yeah, a very slight edge. Um, Turbo Darkness, what do you think is better for Zorak? Green GX with Incineroar or Nag? Wait, what? Better for Zorak? I would not play Zorak with Greninja GX or Incineroar or Nag. <laughs> um... You were thinking buying human size Norlax? <laughs> yeah, so Zorak. Oh, Zorak or Ninja GX. Duh, not Zorak. <laughs> I was thinking about the stage 2 Greninja GX. Um, <coughs> Zorak, Greninja GX with Incineroar or Nag? I mean, why not both? Probably not, right? Um, probably Incineroar. I think Incineroar is the better, the better call here. Yeah, you mean the tag team, sorry. I, I don't know, I brain farted really badly there. Uh, so we don't know what we're up against. As per usual. Jirachi does take away something like Zord though. So definitely wanna go for this guy. But if this is a mirror match, I would want to Kiawe. But since we have no clue whatsoever, I'm gonna Welder. Very reasonable hand to get. Yeah, and I'm gonna play it cool like this. Ah, oh, the sneeze went away. That's so. Oh, I hate that feeling. I hate it when sneezes go away. Okay, so Stellar Wish.
Yeah, to Rudar Gaze. I definitely enjoyed playing the Zoark Ninja with Incineroar uh, GX. Um, it's on my YouTube if you want to watch it. I definitely enjoyed playing that. Okay, I feel like... Hmm. I think I'm going to put this back here. Even though it covers my opponent's name, it's not a big deal. You guys can trust me when, when I say we play against world champions every time. <laughs> right? That's how this works. I could just place this here. Kind of looks cool there as well. Huh, maybe it looks better there. And I can make the chat a little bit bigger. Like 750 pixels. Huh, yeah, I think I like that. I want to try leaving it like that. Okay, so we're up against another Saptos piece deck. Um, so once again, I like... Oh, it's just... Yeah, I'm gonna Welder. Oof. Is that too greedy? Let's pull the wall. Probably these two. Or the Let Looser Rooney. I would just like one energy, please. Just the one. Just the one. But I really don't want to detain away these two cards. That's why I'm going for the Let Loose. Okay, there we go. And even better, I find the escape board to save the energy. I will acro, keep the switch. Okay, even better. I will switch into the Jirachi. I will Stellar Wish. I will grab... Huh. The Guzma that gives me another Stellar Wish. And then we go ahead and... Retreat a Rooney, which is nice. Okay. I'm not the biggest of fans that we use two welders already, but not much you can do about that. No success at that list. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it beats Reshizard at all, but it definitely ran decently well. Yeah, it definitely ran decently well. Okay, we see the Electro Power being played. We see the Electro Power. Mm -hmm. Nest Ball. Another Jirachi. I mean, the Nest Ball we got from the prizes is pretty cool because then we can start parting up another Regisard. The retreat, there's the attack with Zapdos. I could also heal, but then we all know what happened last time. <laughs> we all know what happened last time. Hmm? That was super weird. It also tells us what my opponent is trying to do, right? But that was super weird. Okay, Creamy, thank you so much for the birthday wish. Very kind of you. I'm just gonna outrage for the KO. I fully expect my wretches are to go down here. And I'm gonna need to find a welder plus an energy off of I'm gonna need to find a welder off of this Stellar Wish and then an energy off of the cards we draw from the welder in order to respond to the Coco GX. Which is not gonna be easy, but yeah, that double attachment just means my opponent wants the energy in the discard pile for Coco Prism, right? There's the Ultra Ball, so that's one of the pieces. One of the pieces. Trippin' on Shroomish, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Have a safe drive home. 
appreciate you hanging out. Okay, so we see the Ultra Ball getting rid of... Wait, what? Oh, he hasn't chosen. I was like, wait, how could he discard Zapdos and Energy? That's what we just KO'd. So, I feel like my opponent, for example, in this situation, he's playing the Ultra Ball, but he doesn't know what he's discarding, right? That's why it's taking him a long time to decide. And that means he has no clear plan, right? Like, he didn't have a, a mindset or a, something planned in order to... Um, in order to like execute this turn yeah it's just um unless it was like a really 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 difficult decision um i don't know it's just weird i mean maybe i play too fast sometimes but i feel like as long as you're making plans making plans those sort of decisions should not be difficult and now it's more time for the ultra wall now it's more time for the ultra wall There's the puzzle. Um, did discard the choice band, which doesn't even help him to get the KO, right? Because he would have dealt 150 damage plus 110, that's 260, so I would have been 10 short. Coco prized, maybe? Very big, maybe. I feel like, I don't know what else he had in his hand. The choice band feels like it was very valuable. Thunder Mountain. So is he going in with Zapdos? Electro Power. Wait, what? Now you need triple Electro Power. You're never going to get that, friend. Why would you play the Electro Power? Why would you ever play the Electro Power there? Well, I guess and when I say that, He's going to play another one, and then he's going to sprint. Oh, wow. He's going really hard for this KO. Really, really hard for this KO. What I need to do though, didn't change, though. Can we get some Nidoqueen action, Spoon Sauce? Yeah, maybe we could, we could play Nidoqueen after this. I, do, I wouldn't mind playing Nidoqueen after this. Ooh, we see the escape rope. I like that. That's a wasted Electro Power. A wasted sledgehammer turn and then if he chooses to not attack my marshadow I just attach and retreat so I'm happy with that okay this was a very good turn for us a very very good turn we get a stellar wish as well that was a big whiffer only by my opponent but I definitely think attacking the wretch's art was the right way to go here I will acrobatic it's the only way I can look at more cards this turn um, the, the, finding that then it would be the dream. Ooh, the Guzma is just way too valuable over the Jirachi. So I'm gonna go ahead and touch here and then I'll retreat. And I will bench the Volk and then I will outrage for the KO. Get the prize. Now, no Sledgehammer. Um. Two Electro Powers total gone and a Choice Band. So yeah, my opponent either he didn't know what he was doing, he didn't have a real plan, he was just going um, along as it like moved on, um, or something keys priced, right? Like the Coco GX or the Coco Prism, um, or both. Uh, but yeah, definitely a weird turn. We're gonna see the Lily. We're gonna see the Stellar Wish. Uh, M and M. I I don't remember Jedi. Let me check that one. Nightbot, uh, log in with Twitch. Uh, uh, uh. And then commands, custom. Uh, 
No, it's M and M's. It's like this. <laughs> Magic word. There you go. Okay, so I have no idea what my opponent's trying to do. I've lost track of what he's done. Pogo GX would get him a KO here. Um, hopefully at the cost of something else. Two Electro Powers, right? No, just one. He grabbed the Electro Power and then he played it. Why would you play it though? Everyone is being so careless with the Electro Powers. Oh, there you go. That's why. There's a Coco GX. He's gonna sprint looking for the energy. I really hope he gets it. I really, really hope he gets it. And there we go. There we go. Henry! <laughs> Henry, thank you so much for the MMs once again coming through. Thank you so much. Thank you so, so much. That's very, very kind of you. <clears throat> I really do appreciate it. I really, really do appreciate it. Okay, so Reshiram Charizard, we've been playing quite a while. Um, made some mistakes, playing well as well. Um, the deck is just fantastic, I think. Um, so yeah, I think that's gonna be it for Reshizard. Yeah, I'm gonna play more Nidoqueen. Definitely people wanted to see um, more Nidoqueen action after I showcased the video of it um, early in the week. So I'm gonna give that another try. So don't go anywhere guys, I will be right back in just a second with more Nidoqueen action. Be right back. 